That uh, right there is my excited blueberry shepherd. Right there is a frozen tilapia. And this is a mukbang video. Down. I like to feed my dogs what's called a uh, BARF diet, which is an acronym for biologically appropriate raw foods. As I say in my other videos, it's a diet created by uh, Dr. Ian Billinghurst. He wrote a couple of very good books on the topic. Uh, give your dog a bone and uh, grow your pups with bones. I'll put links to them in the uh, description of the video. When feeding fish to dogs, should be fed. Um, it should be frozen a minimum of uh, three days to kill any parasites in it. If it's a salmon species, it should be frozen a minimum of uh, seven days. Things frozen pretty solid. That's why it's sliding around so much. I often will just give it to them while it's still frozen. Occasionally I thaw it out, but uh, yeah, we'll go back to your pile. <laughs> Now there's always some wise guy who will comment in the uh, comment section, uh, oh yeah, what do you have these small kennels for your dogs? Well number one, the kennel's not small, it goes around the side of the house. And number two, the kennel's just there to uh, separate my dogs when I feed them. So uh, they don't have to uh, compete with each other for food. Dog house in the kennel is uh, Required by law under uh, state statute 343.40. Again, I just uh, feel compelled to say that in every video so I don't have to say it in the comments section when somebody asks. If you look at my channel, it's actually a vlog of my daily wilderness hikes with the dogs. They uh, run about three to uh, six miles a morning through the Mississippi River Valley with me. They get plenty of exercise. They're in great shape. People will often ask in these videos, well, I thought bones were bad for dogs. That's cooked bones that are bad for your dogs. You should never give them cooked bones. That includes those smoked bones they sell at pet stores. Cooking the bone changes its consistency and makes it indigestible to the dog, prone to fracturing into sharp pieces and causing uh, bowel obstructions and uh, perforations in the bowel. Cook bones on, or uh, raw bones on the other hand, uh, are very digestible. Dogs are made to process raw bones. They've been doing it for millions of years in the wild. I recommend feeding, uh, freezing most raw food before you give it to dogs. 
and then uh, you can thaw it out uh, or give it to them frozen. Freezing it uh, kills any potential parasites and that's uh, especially important if you're feeding them wild game or fish especially salmon. Salmon should be frozen again a minimum of uh, seven days. People will often ask about uh, salmonella and E. coli. What a lot of people don't know is uh, many dogs uh, have uh, salmonella in their uh, intestinal tract as part of the natural fauna of their tract. And uh, what a lot of people also don't know is that uh, most commercial dog foods that you buy, uh, you can get salmonella from. And you should always uh, wash your hands after handling commercial dog foods. Many of the pet recalls you see on uh, dry kibble uh, is because it's dangerous to people. I'll provide some links down below if you want to learn more about that. Kurgan is a 14-month-old uh, Blue Bay Shepherd. This is a post-hike snack. Just got home from uh, hiking the river valley a little while ago. I usually give them a snack when we get home and then later on in the day I'll uh, throw some veggies in a food processor and mix it up with some ground meat. And that will be their second meal. I like to feed my dogs a variety of raw meat, fish, poultry, beef. They don't recommend you feed raw pork to your dog. If you do, it should be frozen a minimum of three weeks. It takes three weeks to kill trichinosis. So my neighbor, she's a... Uh, a dog watch, walker and uh, she just showed up with her daily dogs as she walks across the alley. If you're wondering what that barking is in the background.
you can see he made a uh, pretty good uh, pretty quick work of that fully frozen fish not only is a raw diet very good for their uh, jaw muscles it's uh, also extremely good for their dental health it cleans their teeth and uh, keeps them from developing any tartar All done. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.